welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video on Spirit of Steam as well. Now, I'm recording this fairly late, hopefully audio is all good, hopefully you can hear me alright. But we are going to be driving the 8F on the 0513 service from Edge Hill over to Runcorn. Uh, so about sort of 20, 25 minutes, knowing us it'll probably be double that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to give the 8F a go, which is very similar to the Jubilee in terms of operating. Uh, there's not too much of a difference, so yeah, we should be all right. Anyway, let's begin. Obviously, big thanks again to Dovetail Games for giving us early access to uh, show this off. Let's make sure the lamps are all on. Right, this is through freight. Now, I think through freight would be that. I think. I think that's through freight, possibly. Or well, have it as that. Right, let's get everything set up. Hopefully, audio is all good. Just gonna turn that down a little bit for me. Right, uh, first off, let's get that to 75%. See if we've got the green, which we do at the moment. So we're going to be going that way, I believe. Across there is that one. If that one was green, we'll be going straight on. If that one was green, we'll be going left. But that one is, I think we are going up there. So let's get it ready. Um, we want to set that to fully open. Uh, we want to get it up to 21 to create the vacuum. That's doing that. And then we should then be able to go. Should be able to, right, that's uh, almost at 21. There we go, we get that to close. Uh, Sid and the cocks are... I'll get them open. And let's get going. Oh, we'll slip, that's not a good start. <laughs> Uh, we'll get some sand down as well. Is there a sand on this one? There, that's better. Off we go. Fairly similar whistle on this one. It is a one, well, one in 120. So, you sort of got a toil of the locomotive first. You just sort of see. There you go. Love that. Look at that. Look at the steam. Sort of straight out. Brilliant. So we're going as far as Roncorn we are. Actually, I've got the sand coming down. Can we see the sand? Doesn't look like it would be coming out, I think, there and there. There you go. Let's get the um, cylinder cocks uh, closed. Should be alright. Off we go here with our freight service. So I believe some of these don't actually have brakes. So half the train just won't have brakes. I think some of these wagons do. I'm not too sure actually exactly which ones. They might actually be these ones. But yeah, I don't think they actually have brakes on them. I know some of the wagons on here don't have brakes. So um, it makes it fun. Also another reason why you got the brake van. <laughs> to sort of stop that. Out we go though. So we're at Edge Hill at the moment, so yeah, if you were on the main line, you would be coming, let's have a look, yeah, so we're here, oh, we never been around this, we've got all the way around, and then we're then join up, cool, we can do that, let's set that to 100, look at that, and we do have a warning signal there, so we might be waiting maybe for... I don't know. But we will have to caution, so we might have to come to a stop. But that's all good. Love that. And listen to the sound of that. It is just excellent. So one in one eight well one in eighty seven up here. Just keeping an eye out for any signals. Yeah, we got the clear there. But then we also got a warning on that as well. I should probably do the semaphore tutorial just to also have a look. Um, but I'm all right with semaphores. But yeah, sometimes these ones. But that's a warning one there, so sometimes you might not expect a red when you see that. As you can see, the distance is warning, or the green is, or the main signal is green. And it doesn't really matter if you speed down here, because I think you've got like a 1 in. I think it's possibly a 1 in 30 coming up. So you want to go. It doesn't really matter if you speed on that bit. If you speed on that bit, it's all good. That's some good advice from um, Dovetail Games Jamie. 
because look, we got a, a one in, yeah, one in 35 trying to get up here. It doesn't really matter if you speed a little bit coming down that side. Just try and get as much speed as you can to get up this gradient. Look at that though. What a gorgeous loco. We've got the green as well, which is all good. Let's try and get a nice screenshot. Oh, well, that's not going to be nice now. We can't put them in bridge in the way. There you go. Let's get back in, get the HUD on. And what we'll do is we'll start bringing down the uh, reverser. This guy, this has got to be 30 across there, isn't it? No? no? I think we're all good. Go by a slow line, that's what we're doing. Okay, we're all good. Boiler pressure is coming down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. We're almost at the, uh, at the speed limit. Hopefully, then we can get the pressure up a little. Looks like we're on the slow line though, so. And we're not really in a rush. We'll keep it as that for now. I'm pretty certain the freight speed limit is actually 35. I think on some freight trains. I'm not too sure about this one. I'm pretty certain there is a speed limit of 35 on some of them. Although I'm not too sure what ones they are in particular. You can see our pressure's going back up now. We sort of want it to be, well, up here a little. So we'll let it sort of um, go up. Let's bring that off a little bit. We don't necessarily need to go any faster. Here we go. You get this open as well. It's raining or whatnot. Get that open. If you want. Got a double yellow coming up, although we had that before and then it was perfectly fine, it, it was green. So, we'll see. I'm going to bring that down a little bit more, and we'll let it coast, we're going downhill, so. And the thing is, I, I watched back the preview stream and Matt actually said, the one of the hardest things to do is to go from Lime Street towards Crew. And what do we do? The first line one we do, we do exactly that. <laughs> So we didn't do too bad. Yeah, for your first run, probably start at crew. Because then it's downhill most of the way. I mean, you get this gradient here, you'll be going up, but it should be fairly easy. It doesn't last for long either, so. And we've got a green on there. So I'm guessing that's. Actually, that's probably. Uh, I guess it's probably for us, yeah. The semaphores are all over the place, so you need to know which one's yours. Here we go though. What a beautiful train though, the 8F. Boiler pressure's now at a really good um, level. Open that, open that up a little. Try and get a little bit more speed on us. There you go, look at that. Proper opening it up. 49. I don't necessarily need to be doing that, so let's just bring that down. 27%, bring that down a little bit. Just leave it at that. Well, I want to, I want to try and keep that pressure for one, once we get to Runcorn or this injunction, because that way you go all the way up. So I want to try and keep the um, pressure for that. So obviously, I suppose the higher the pressure, the easier it is to get the speed. I'll shut that off, we don't need it on. Doing quite well at the moment. Where's that farming? Hello. Um, we do have an automatic farming. Or we should do. Yeah, you can see pre release. Yeah, it's pre release, this is so. Any issues like that will be sorted. There's the uh, lamp there. Which on a steam train you use as a cab light. Got a green, so you've got a mix of colour lights and um, semaphore on here. Let's watch it going past. It's into that. There you go. Here we go with our freight train. So you've got period clothing, period wagons. 
it's it's right, you throw everything, every you made. So looks like we're going left here. So I'm guessing there'll be yeah, you can see Is that our line going off? Yeah, okay, this is our one, but yeah you can see the other line should be going off in a second. We should see that. Yeah, so if 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 this one was green here, it would mean we're going into here. But as this one's green, it means we're going left. So I've got quite a bit of pressure at the moment, which is good. So ready for the climb up to Runcorn. So when we did the passenger run, we yeah, obviously didn't have too much pressure. So yeah, when we did do the passenger run, um, we did struggle up uh, the hill, obviously, you know, going up to Runcorn and then past Runcorn. So you've got to have a good amount of pressure if you want to make it up the grade at a good speed, which I would like to do. That's all good. And then a steam train. Obviously you're not closed in the cab, so I mean, the cab window is practically always open. It's lovely, and you've got the southern bell view as well. And there it is. It's a tree of signals, look at that. back in. Floating car, because the bridge hasn't had a in yet. Got the other gauge, I think that's the brake pressure gauge, no, the boiler pressure, the brake pressure. So yeah, we are starting to go uphill now, so it's good we had that pressure. That should help us um, get up. Some of that on. Right, we've got a bit of flat here, which is good. Where are we going? After another station, some sort of abandoned station here. Where what this used to be. But like tide mills, I guess, closed um, for the 60s. Actually, tide mills being on East Coast Street. That station between New Haven Harbour and Bishopstone. I think they closed in 1939. Two miles, going back downhill, which is good. That pressure's coming up again. Should really bring this down a bit as well. Let's pop that down to about 35. But you can sort of fine tune it on this, there you go, 35. As we are going fair speed at the moment. But yeah, one thing, you don't really see many trains on this route. Uh, but then it is, you know, steam. So it's not going to be like a rush hour, it's under steam trains going all over the place and stuff like that. And I think it is also a fairly quietish route. And also that's another thing, they have left gaps in the timetable. Because um, at the moment the Jubilees are doing the local services. So as gaps have been left, you never know. It could be like another train at some point. Which what would that be, like a 4F or something? Yeah, it's 135 services on this route, which for a steam route uh, is a fair amount. And there's also sort of a rail tour as well within the route. Well, not a rail tour, but like a special tour. And that's the brake for hand tool. So you can drive the AF for sort of a passenger train. It's just got tons of brake vans. Uh, and you can go from Edge Hill to Crew, like touring each depot as you go along, which is quite cool. Got a 20 coming up. Damn you, yeah, that's not good either because that's just before the gradient. Brilliant. So now we're going to be struggling into uh, into Runcorn. Hopefully, I'll actually pick that back up then. Not ideal though, having the 20. Slowly bringing that down. Nice and slow. Quite nice all the run out of Liverpool. I'd imagine probably nowadays all of this is probably houses. See so some development over there. 
it's another abandoned station. I think it is as well. There's a fair few along here, isn't there? Oh no, this one is. Yeah. Hellbang, I know, almost. Okay, you got that 20 soon. And yeah, if you go HUDless, there's no speedometer, so you've got to completely guess what speed you're going. Which also is quite fun. Right, I'm going to keep as much pressure as I can for the gradient. So we're going to need quite a bit to um, get up. So let's sort of save it for that. We're a freight train, there's no timetable. And you can also open these up if you really want to. I think they're the same ones as what you get on um, Franz Pennine on the BR Heavy Freight Pack. Probably because we're moving, we can't open it yet. But you should be able to open that up. Yeah, as we're moving, it might not let us. Let's get back to the front. Little bit of brake on. We've got 20 years coming up. Just have a clear throw as well. Our train needs to come to a stop. Oh, yeah, it's coming to a stop. It's coming down to 20. I don't want to be speeding. That should be alright. That should hopefully bring us down on time. Hey, we haven't got a feather indicator. Well, I think this is Ditton Junction, I think. Or is it? I'm probably completely wrong there. Oh, it is. No, Ditton Junction. There we go. The start of the grade up to Runcorn. It's going to be fun. See the beginning of the grade. Everyone, get ready. Onto there we go. As soon as that speed limit goes up, we're going full hand. So yeah, look, you can see it goes all the way up. Right, the speed should go up in a sec, so. much power as we can get. Yeah, here we are, we're starting the climb. I think it's like a 1 in 130 or something, so quite steep. As long as we're gaining speed, that's good. Yeah, 1 in 114. This is one of the tougher gradients on the road, especially if, well, as you, as you saw, we had to slow down just before it. down a bit more, about 35 or so, should be alright. Sort of like a mid gear I guess you could say. It is quite a struggle trying to get out though, especially if you're stopping at a set if you're doing a passenger service and you're stopping at Runcorn you sort of lose that momentum. So as we saw in the Jubilee video we did, um, past Runcorn we really did struggle up. I suppose if you already have momentum, sort of, and once you get over the bridge it flattens out a little bit, get some more speed and that'll then get you up the gradient past Runcorn. So we're sort of at 30 miles an hour at the moment. We're still heading up though. Yeah, no, it's a slight blip. That was just me restarting the recording, so yeah, it's going to go for 4 gig. So we're actually starting to lose a little bit of speed up here. Which isn't really what we want to be doing. We don't want to lose speed. Let's try and get that a little bit more up. We've got to stop at Runcorn anyway, so... Yeah, it's quite a struggle trying to get up here. As you can see. 
at that. But we're getting there. So yeah, try and get a bit of speed beforehand if you can. Especially if you're doing a passenger service. There it is. Then we go onto the Runcorn Bridge, which looks stunning. Look at that. You've got the old Runcorn Bridge there as well. And as you can see the, where the cranes are, that's the new one being built. To get back into the uh, footplate. Get back onto the footplate, I should say, really. That's a nice little service, that one actually. Sort of across, uh, well, from Edge Hill, sort of out of New, uh, I was right outside of New York then, out of Lime Street to, uh, well, here. Not bad. Awesome. Yeah, this is also the Runcorn Viaduct, I think it is. So it flattens out a little bit. I should do, and then it's just straight up. Which, yeah, from the Jubilee video, it can be quite a struggle, so don't expect to be going places too quick. Let's uh, put that off as we come into Runcorn. That's why we got a green anyway, so that's all good. We don't have to worry about the signal at the end of the platform. Oh, the bets is red though. It is red as well. I don't know if there is an issue with the signals at the moment. I didn't see a warning signal beforehand. And it's sort of straight to red. Could be, possibly. Because I don't know, but there could be an issue with the signals. A bit like earlier where we got the double yellow single and then green which was um, yeah I don't know probably the way it's supposed to be yeah I didn't see a warning signal beforehand so not too sure but if it is pre-release let's try not to go past through I don't want to be getting this bad That's what we do. I mean, I know it'd be entertaining, but we don't want to do it. Howdy. Nice gentle stop. Well, there we go. That's a little look there at the AF. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed that. Uh, links can be found in the description to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Uh, obviously, massive thanks again to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show this off early. Awesome stuff. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your day. Do comment below what you thought of the service, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Yeah.